Here's the skyline. I wonder how this is going to work. See, it makes a mess. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah's Baking Creations, and today in what was supposed to be my Labor Day video, but was very late because school got me very off schedule, uh, I will be teaching you how to make chili burgers, actually chili sliders, because they're mini, burgers. Yeah, mini burgers, yeah. and the person making the burgers today will be my dad. Burgermeister. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be using Sarah's chili. She made a mock Cincinnati style chili that we like to compare to Skyline. Here's the original Skyline chili. As you can see, pretty watery. Do you want me to talk? No, you're fine. And here's the one I made, which is nice and meaty. Very thick. <clears throat> Probably going to be a lot better for uh, making a chili burger. But it's a copycat um, Cincinnati chili recipe that you found on the internet. Yeah, I found it online. I, I haven't had much luck with those in the past. They're usually not very precise but we'll see how this one turns out so yeah. skyline is quite an Ohioan staple we're, so we're going to start by adding our water to our large pan along with our tomato paste and chocolate and heat it over medium heat stirring to combine for about three minutes next we are going to add the chili powder cinnamon garlic powder cumin allspice cloves, red pepper flakes, salt and sugar, pepper, and vinegar. Mix it together thoroughly. And then add the ground beef, making sure to break it up into tiny pieces. And this is what it should look like once the meat has been broken up. But now that we've added and broken up the ground beef, we're going to turn the heat to high to bring the mixture to a boil. And once the mixture comes to a boil, we will bring the heat down to medium low. And then it just let it cook uncovered for one to one and a half hours at a low boil. So what's different with this burger versus other burgers is that we're adding oyster crackers to it to keep with the skyline theme. Yeah, the traditional way to use skyline is 
chili with um, shredded cheddar cheese on top. Of course, the Cincinnati style chili that Skyline makes and originated. And then with uh, oyster crackers. Here's the real Skyline. Take note of which one it is. Here's the stuff I made. First of all, yours is much thicker, so this is going to be better for a chili burger. Oh, yeah. But. I think they'll both be see. tasty in their own regard. Now. Both are very on the decent meals. Cheese. High. And there we have it. Can we do a taste test? Yeah. Okay. Here's the skyline. I wonder how this is going to work. See, it makes a mess. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't say that even tastes like Skyline, but I know it's the real thing. It's the burger flavor is taking over. They taste fairly similar because the burger flavor kind of overwhelms the rest of it. But um, I have to say I like yours better because it just tasted better. So, good job. All right. That's the answer I was looking for. And okay. Now I'm going to finish eating. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So that's all for today. My dad op opted to not be in the intro because he does not like being on camera. Get out of the chili. It's not yours. You've had enough. I'll see you next time in my next back to school video and a birthday video that I'm making for my mom. Uh, re remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share to further my reach and hopefully get me to monetization. See you later.